Hello, Bay Ridge. Welcome to another edition of After Hours. Uh, this week, I wanted to talk about just one of the practices that I mentioned. On Sunday, we were looking at a psalm of uh, thanksgiving and praise, and I was talking about how to build a life of gratitude um, and overcoming the cultural forces that are so aligned against us having a life of gratitude. And one of the ones that I mentioned that might have been a surprise to folks was the idea of Sabbath. And so I wanted to talk for a couple of minutes about Sabbath and gratitude. It's probably surprising because most of us, when we think about Sabbath, we may not know a lot about it. We think about rest, but how is it related to gratitude? Why would I say that that is really a practice that helps us build gratitude? Well, uh, there are several things that I, I would uh, point out about this. I'll just list four of them. Number one, uh, our constant hurry and busyness undermines gratitude. I mentioned that as one of the gods of our culture, that we are so busy, we are so hurried all the time, that there's no time to really be able to think through um, all the things that we have to be thankful for to, uh, you know, as some people are again calling it today, mindfulness or counting your blessings, really pressing in to think through all that God has given you. Uh, those in a rush miss all the things that they have to be grateful for. Well, Sabbath makes us slow down. That, that's what the word literally means is to, to cease, to rest, to stop. Uh, so we, it's, it's like a, a divine speed bump that makes us slow down. It gives us the time to rest, to breathe, and to reflect on all that God has given us. Just the, the very slow down and pace gives us space and room to reflect, which can lead to thanksgiving and praise. And that's actually what God did on the first Sabbath, if you kind of think about it, is, you know, he's slowing down, he's ceasing from all of his labor of work and being able to enjoy what it is that he has made. Um, secondly, Sabbath can give us a break from all the gods uh, that undermine our gratitude. Again, I mentioned several of them uh, on Sunday, you know, our photoshopped and curated lives, um, again, our uh, busyness, um, the fact that, you know, we live in a culture that is built around advertising and consumerism and greed. All of these things tend to work against us being full of gratitude. Well, in Sabbath, we are taking a break. I mean, we are ceasing, we are stopping. And so what we can do is we can pick the the particular things that may be causing us problems. Some of you may say, you know, I can actually physically rest. I don't have a problem doing that. But what may really be undermining our gratitude is, you know, doom scrolling through social media or a news feed. Then Sabbath for us means taking a break from that. It means I don't read the news on Sunday or I don't look at social media on Sunday. Um, it may be that, uh, you know, we, we just have to take a break from working on those things. It may be that the, you know, the greed and advertising culture so that we avoid shopping, even looking at ads, we practice contentment, but whatever the gods are that are really affecting us, Sabbath can give us a chance to break from those, which causes their hold to be released because we are regularly every week taking a break, taking a period of time where we are not engaged with those gods, uh, as I was calling them on Sunday. Third, Sabbath is a reminder that God is our provision, which of course gives us a reason to be grateful that God himself takes care of us. In Sabbath, we cease work and we're trusting that God provides for us. But of course, to do that, I have to be reminded that God has provided in the past which leads to me being grateful. It reminds us that the Lord is our provision, not our own works, not our own efforts, not our own labors, which gives us a chance to be thankful for how God provides for us. Uh, just to, to stir up that reminder that I don't have to keep running, I don't have to keep rushing. God takes care of me, just like he takes care of the birds of the field and the, you know, the grass and the flowers and all these things. I'm able to uh, enjoy by taking the time in Sabbath to actually reflect on that. And then finally, just a fourth way that Sabbath helps is Sabbath is a day to specifically engage in gratitude. On Sabbath, normally, for most of us, our Sabbath is going to be on maybe Saturday night to Sunday evening is the way Linda and I practiced it uh, when our kids were young. Uh, for most people, it be that. And it includes gathering with God's people for worship. Part of Sabbath is not just stopping. It's not a day to just play. 
It's a day where we purposefully worship God. And so we gather with God's people. And of course, our worship is full of praise and thanksgiving uh, to God for all he has done. And in Sabbath, whenever we do it, we can take time personally or as a family to give thanks to God for all of his provisions. Part of what God did on the original Sabbath was God didn't need physical rest, obviously, but he stepped back and he said, you know, what I've been saying is good. All of it combined is very good. And there's a sense of God enjoying the works of his hands. Well, in Sabbath, we step back and we are able to be grateful because we take time to, to rest and enjoy, to reflect, and then to give gratitude to God and say, you have cared for me and what you have done is enough. I encourage you to build a rhythm of Sabbath into your life. You can look up on our webpage. If you go to the teachings page on our website where it's teaching by topic, you can look up Sabbath and see some teachings in the past. Do some reflecting and thinking about it. It is a deep principle that is very important. And here is just one other way that Sabbath comes in and how it helps us shape our soul uh, to be one that is one of gratitude. And practicing Sabbath as a weekly practice will help you to do it moment by moment as you go through your day, noticing all the things for which you should be grateful, for which I should be grateful. I hope it's helpful. I look forward to us gathering again this Sunday to worship together. God bless.